Okay, and now we are going to work on corrections for the mastery where you needed to decide whether or not an equation is proportional or not. And please remember that when you are scaling up and down, we always either multiply or divide. If you're adding the same number to the numerator and the denominator, that is not proportional. So therefore, if we've got an equation that has anything with multiplication or division in it, it is not proportional. Okay, so number one, that two sitting next to the x means that you're simply multiplying. So you can say yes. My explanation is that I am, I could say scaling up by 2. I could say there's no adding or subtracting. That one would work as well. Either one of those two will be okay with me, as long as I can tell that you know that it doesn't need to have adding or subtracting in it. Um, number 2, we can tell right now this 1 fourth. So apparently what's going on is that we're scaling the x's down dividing it by two, and then we are adding a fourth to it. So that is gonna be a no, because you are adding four. There is no adding or subtracting when we are dealing with proportional relationships. So we would say a no for that one. If I'm looking at number three, several of you guys on the mastery thought that because that was a negative three that that meant subtraction. That does not mean a negative, or it doesn't mean subtraction. You're simply multiplying by a negative three because the three is just sitting next to the x. So this is a yes because I multiply by a negative three. Or I could say no adding and subtracting because neither one of those is in there. For the same reason that number three is proportional, number four is not. Now you can see, now that is a minus six because the six is not sitting next to an x, so that does mean subtraction. So number four is no, and the reason it is not proportional is because you are subtracting six. So again, there is no adding or subtracting when you are dealing with proportional relationships.